Hey, it's Sarah Glitch again. I know it's been a while, but I'm back today because I have some more Animal Crossing merch question mark that I'd like to share with everyone. So recently you might have seen online, there's a collab between Animal Crossing and Godiva or Godiva, depending on how you pronounce it. And I was able to get a couple of the items. So I wanted to share it with you guys today. I actually have not opened up the package yet. So I'm going to do that now off camera so you don't see my address. I'm going to take them out. Number one and number two. And I had this package in the fridge since it's supposed to keep it chilled. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh, they just, <laughs> it has a pouch, but they don't even like put the chocolate inside the pouch. This is separate. Okay, so I'll kind of explain as I go. I don't remember the exact names for these. Um, they were in Japanese. Anyway, since it's nice exclusive. But, sorry, let me open this up first. So these are um, two separate items that I purchased. And basically this one, as you can see, comes with a little pouch and a cardboard. And you can also buy just the cardboard with the chocolates inside. It's a little less expensive. And this one comes in a tin. And I will be showing um, the website, all the different options that they have. But I like to go through each of them, kind of show what they are. Let's start with the cardboard one. Okay, look at how cute this is. Oh, I really like the packaging. It has a lot of fan favorites on the cover. If you don't know, Rosie is my all-time favorite regular villager. Come back, just normal. Oh, I get the official Nintendo seal, that's nice. Okay, now very carefully to remove the sticker. Okay, so it has in Japanese. So this is um, Goriva meets Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Assortment, six pieces with original pouch. Ooh, perfect. Look at that. Got the stickers off. No problem. Okay, so I have that open now. So let's actually slide it out and get a first peek at the chocolate. Oh, here it is. Oh, look at that. You can see inside. You can see we have, this is the one with six pieces. So you have three with characters on them and then have a couple of others. I'm gonna put it back in for one second and let's open up the tin because that one's gonna have a few more. Okay, let's let's hope I can get this open. Oh, it has tape, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get it open now. I say we as if you guys can help me. It's all on me if I fail. Okay, almost there, I think. <laughs> oh, 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 I think we're at <gasps> Ooh, I saw a little preview. Okay, oh nice, so it has um, a little description of each of them. Ah, okay, I see. So this is the logo chocolate, and then heart leaf, and then it has the names of each of the characters on the other chocolates, and it has a description of what kind it is. So I think I'm going to, ooh, -hoo -hoo. oh, look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful, so nice. Okay, so I think now I'm going to go through and say what is in each of them. The heart is a white chocolate. Um, Isabel is a milk chocolate with coffee filling. Tom Nook is dark chocolate with dark chocolate filling. The twins are also the same as Tom Nook. The leaf is white chocolate. Rosie is milk chocolate with milk chocolate filling. Marshall is dark chocolate with coffee filling, and Dom is milk chocolate with milk chocolate filling. Oh, and then the logo chocolate is milk chocolate with salted caramel filling. So that's what is in each of them. So I think I'm going to decide which one I want to eat. It's very hard to decide, but I would like to um, open up a couple for you guys and try eating them, and I'll tell you how they taste. <laughs> I've never done like a tasting before. So I want to talk a bit about the process of buying it. So I knew that it was going to come out January 6th and then run through February 16th for Valentine's Day. And at first I thought about buying it in a store and I happened to see it in a mall once and they had it all in stock, but it just wasn't a good time to buy it. I would have had to like carry it around for a long time. So I thought, okay, no, I'm just going to go to my local one and then I'll buy it there. So I went there, it was only two days later, but it was already on back where, and this was, I think, January 9th. So it was only a few days. The two I wanted, um, the one with the tin and the one with the pouch, because there are, you know, just the ones with the cardboard, for example. 
that was there, but the ones I wanted were on back order and they didn't know I was going to come in. So I ended up ordering these online and then I had them shipped to my house. So that was good. However, I'm pretty sure that's only going to be shipping within Japan. So if you are trying to get it outside, you'll probably have to use some kind of shopping service if they do offer it. Since it is chocolate, I don't know for sure if there are going to be any services, unfortunately. But I'm hoping everyone can get access to it if they really want it. I did really want the tin and the pouch, and I'll put up on the screen the prices for each of them. It was a little pricey, I suppose, because I think most people, like, you're only going to get one that you really want, but I just really wanted to keep the tin. I can put all my little buttons in there, I suppose, whenever I figure out how to use this later after I've eaten the chocolate. And the pouch as well. It kind of reminds me of, like, Ipsy bags, those sort of ones that you would get. So I think I can definitely find a use for it. I want to keep it nice, but I'll put something in there that I have to carry around. Okay, so let's actually get to the taste test now. So I decided I want to do the ones in the box first, just since I really want to keep the tin nice still. <laughs> I kind of want to put the twins. Don't you want to like cut in between them, separate them? Is that bad? And this is dark chocolate. All right. I've never cut chocolate before. I'm a little nervous. I'm not great with a knife, to be honest. Oh, I got it. Nice. Ah, it's stuck. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. This one's a little jagged. But that's not very satisfying to look at. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's look at this one. I'm not sure which one's Timmy, which one's Tommy. This one's a lot cleaner. So you can see inside. So it's um a hard filling, I suppose. Like it's not gonna like ooze out. Okay, so let's actually get to tasting. I think I'll eat the jagged one. <laughs> ah! A little bit fell. Okay, gonna take a bite. Mmm. Sorry, I took two bites before I said anything. It's so good. So I said it was a hard filling since it wasn't oozing out, but when you bite into it, it is very silky smooth. It's really... I'm trying to remember what it's called. Kind of like the... What do you call the Linden truffle balls, I think? I'm not sure. How it's like a ball chocolate that's like a really soft, airy filling. That's how I describe the filling here. It's very good. It's very... I, I really like the taste as well as the texture. It's so fine and smooth. You don't have to keep eating it. <laughs> I really like dark chocolate. I, I like all sweets, but dark chocolate is definitely my favorite. I feel so sad we only have one of the brothers now. I think I would like to open up one more chocolate. I think I want to go for the salted caramel since that's a little different. So a bit of a better chocolate. Oh, did you did you see how smooth that was? I really improved. Oh, you can see. I hope you can see. <laughs> can you see? <laughs> I can see like how shiny it is. Like you can really tell it's a different texture than before. Like it makes sense for a salted caramel to look like this. Okay, so I'm gonna eat the logo now. This is salted caramel again. Let's take a bite. Mmm. That's really good. I think it's the best caramel I've ever had in my entire life. It's definitely a softer, like squishier texture than the dark chocolate, since it is caramel. It's very rich, I would say. I'm not, to be honest, I feel bad doing this because like I'm not the type of person to like describe tastes or smells or anything like that very well. So I feel like it's a bit wasted on me to be doing this review. But let me know, I think it is very excellent. So I do have obviously the one in the tin. There's one more salted caramel, but that's it. There's no other salted caramel. I'm a little disappointed. Because I have a hard time believing if there's going to be anything better than this. Because this is just perfection. The characters, the outside, half of them are milk chocolate, half of them are dark chocolate in the tin. And then the filling, two are dark chocolate, two are coffee, two are milk. So I haven't tried the coffee. I guess I'll have to try that one next. So I'll try that, and I think I'll also try white chocolate on camera. Okay, let's open up. There isn't really a good way to cut into her, I feel. Maybe there's no natural place to cut her. I don't know, I kind of want to cut across her face. Okay, I'm going to do it. Ooh, smooth. I've gotten better. Maybe the first one, maybe the chocolate, because it was a little thicker, that's why I didn't, like, cut as well. And also the outside is different. This one's smoked chocolate, the other one's dark. Oh, I can actually smell the coffee just from cutting into it. It's quite strong, so I suppose this is going to be a little divisive if you, like, coffee or not. I've grown to like coffee the past few years, so I'm hoping I like it. Well, here we go. Imagine me eating again. 
Hmm. Coffee. <laughs> Definitely tastes like coffee. I wish I was more knowledgeable about coffee. I could say like, oh, it tastes like whatever type of bean, but unfortunately, I cannot. I would say it's pretty similar to other coffee flavored candies I've tasted before, like the hard candies. I don't know, like they're supposed to be based on either. So whatever it is, I would say it's about the same. It's also good. Salted caramel is still my favorite though. Okay, so now we have these two white chocolates. And the leaf is, I think, a little more iconic, of course. A little more. <laughs> it's very iconic to Animal Crossing. So I think I'm gonna eat that one. It doesn't have a filling, so I think I'm just gonna bite into it. See how it looks, see how it tastes. All right, let's have a go. For some reason, it like, took me a second to taste the white chocolate. It's not like a super strong white chocolate, I'd say. Like, some of you taste it's like, it's very distinctive. So I'd say it's kind of on the subtle side. For the white chocolate, I didn't feel like, until the last bite, that it was creamy like I'm used to having for white chocolate, I guess. It's a little more firm. Because I'm used to thinking of white chocolate like it melts in your mouth. I didn't think it was very melty. <laughs> but it's all good. They're all good. I would definitely have to say that the salted caramel was my favorite. I don't think that should be a surprise. Oh, I just realized that actually the smaller tin does not have milk chocolate filling, unfortunately. Oops. So that's kind of unfortunate. So if you do get the smaller size, only six, you're only going to get dark chocolate, coffee, and salted caramel fillings. You will not get the milk chocolate one. I was hoping to try all of the flavors on camera, but I think the milk chocolate one might put me over my limit for chocolate. <laughs> And also, I did have the milk chocolate coating in the other one, so I have a- I think I have a general idea of what it may taste like. So I think it would just be that consistently. That's kind of interesting. I've never, like, eaten on camera before. <laughs> I kind of feel like if you've ever seen, um, Japanese television, they always have so many shows about food, and people always joke around, especially foreigners, but Japanese people too, I think, about how no matter what the item is, it's always, oh my gosh, the most delicious thing I've ever tasted when the reporters eat it. It's very- you know, overly dramatic, but I feel like that's kind of what I ended up doing as well. Every chalk was the best I've ever had, but it was very, very good. I'm very sad there's only one more salted caramel in the tin I'll be able to eat. Yeah, so I'm also going to kind of show now on the website the different items that they had. Because there's one I had a tin with like some regular candies in it, a couple other things. I didn't see them in store for whatever reason. So like I said, these chocolates are available for about one more month. So if you happen to be in Japan during that time, you know someone who's in Japan, if you're able to find a shopping service that can ship it out, then maybe you can pick it up and get a little chocolate for yourself for Valentine's Day. Enjoy eating your favorite villagers. I love the little like, details on the package. That's kind of random. Also, I realized it might be a little disturbing for some people to see like the knife in this shot, so I think I'm going to take these off and just kind of show the products again for you guys. Ooh, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so satisfying, except Dom has a little something on him. Okay, we got them cleaned up. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching the video. I hope you're able to get the chocolates if you are interested in purchasing them. I really enjoyed them. And also I think that the packages that they come in are super cute. That's why I got two of them. I am still working on a couple of Animal Crossing videos. Unfortunately, they're taking a bit longer than I expected. They're not merch related at all. Otherwise, recently I've been streaming on my Twitch fairly regularly, kind of, in my E plus town, as well as I started a Plus, Animal Forest Plus Town, the Japanese versions with live translations, I suppose. I've been having a lot of fun going through GameCube, especially a version that I haven't tried before and talking with everyone. Otherwise, you can find me on social media like Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, perhaps. And sometimes I share merch like this, other Animal Crossing things. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. I'm sorry I couldn't be a little bit better quality but I will keep trying to improve with every video. And I hope to see you again real soon. Goodbye!